What happens when you stack some of the most dangerous loot in the game? I mean, it's no secret that a chest of sorrow can sink your ship, but what about the other cursed pieces of loot? And more importantly, can I weaponize them to sink my enemies? Thankfully for us, there's now a way to find out. Introducing the Cursed Treasure Voyage. This bad boy equips you with a compass that leads the way towards these exact pieces of loot. The catch? They are endgame exclusive and can only be purchased via doubloons, a currency that is notoriously difficult to come by and one which I'd spent the last few months acquiring in preparation for this episode. Needless to say that what I was about to attempt is incredibly stupid and you're about to find out why. Now, if there's one thing you're going to need when attempting this voyage, it's a rowboat. Considering I was playing solo, this would serve as a sort of backup plan because let's not forget, if that treasure can sink my enemies, it can definitely sink me as well. For the time being, I began following the compass towards the first out of five pieces of treasure, replacing my robot with one that has a harpoon before rejoicing over my first find being a chest of rage. You see, of all the cursed pieces of treasure in the game, the chest of rage as well as the chest of a thousand grogs are incredibly easy to handle. The grog chest mainly makes you drunk for a short duration and the chest of rage, whilst explosive, could be kept from setting your vessel ablaze by putting it on an elevated spot and filling your ship with a thin layer of water. By doing that, the water in my hull would immediately put out the fires created by the explosion, allowing me to not have to worry about it at all. At least for now. And worry I did not. My second find was yet another chest of rage, making me feel like maybe this was not gonna be that bad after all. Wasn't it for the fact that there was one tiny detail I had kind of forgotten about. Why are you so tanky? Why are you so tanky? Who summoned you? What kind of boss is that? <laughs> what? Oh god, I hope that skelly ship didn't see me do that. Yeah, as you can see, because this is an endgame voyage, all the AI enemies I had to fight were considerably more tanky than normal ones. Whilst I was expecting that from the skeletons that were summoned whenever I find a piece of loot, seeing random patrols that were already on the island before I arrived have the HP pool of a Megalodon definitely caught me by surprise. Alas, this was the price I had to pay for the luxury of only having chests of rage bestowed upon me, because yes, every single one of my five dig spots granted me one such item. But unfortunately, when the time came to plop down a new voyage, my luck had run out. Oh no, do they actually have me sail through that? Please don't do that to me. Is it that island over there? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. Oh, okay. Well, but Cliff, that's just a phantom fleet, some of you might say, and you would be right. Except, it did not take me long to realize that trying to use my cannons would come with a bit of a downside. Ah! You know, there's a tiny flaw in my strategy. <laughs> and that I cannot stay on the cannons because it will set me on fire. That was a problem. Fighting the fleet like this would be more trouble than is realistically worth, so I decided to try and grab the loot from the island before the fleet could sink me, which was quite a balancing act. I needed just enough water to make sure my ship doesn't get set ablaze, but not so much water that I would sink before I returned. But moments after I left my ship to follow the compass, I heard a massive barrage of cannon shots laying into my vessel. I turned around immediately, eating a fistful of poison in the process as I desperately made way to save my ship. I realized the only way for me to do this was to get my ship closer to the dig spot, lest it would be torn apart before I could return. And I was in luck, because the spot I had to find was very close to shore, I felt confident in my plan working out, but not confident enough to not go back and check on my ship once more after seeing it get shoved around by ghostly cannon shots. Though I am happy to report that me being paranoid was fully justified in light of my hull resembling Swiss cheese more than like a type of cheese that doesn't have holes, I guess. Though in an ironic twist of fate, it was the least dangerous of the cursed piece of treasure that would ultimately create the biggest challenge. Uh, uh, ah! Ah! Okay, we're so good, we're so good. In hindsight, good is a relative term. A very relative term. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god! Leave me alone! The water's getting so high, it's touching the freaking chests! Ain't no way! Ain't no way! Ain't no way! Ain't no way! Ain't no way, bro! We got the goods. We can leave. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 please! Please! No, 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 no! Why did it not grab it? I'm so sunk. 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 Why did it not grab it? No! Ah! <laughs> this is the worst.
first timeline! Truly, I might be the first player in the history of Sea of Thieves that managed to sink because of a chest of a thousand grogs. But I was not done struggling yet. I might have lost my ship, but I still have my rowboat. And you guys know me, where there is a rowboat, there is a way. Of all the ways that I expected to sink today, this was definitely not one of them. Getting struck by a phantom ship as I was reeling in my chest of a thousand grogs was truly unlucky, but complaining about it was not gonna fix my plight. Only because my ship was gone did not mean that my voyage was cancelled, so as long as I have my rowboat, I could continue to find the remaining four pieces of loot before looking for a victim. Yes, my friends, now that I had successfully sunk myself, I was more determined than ever to do the same thing to somebody else. But I was about to learn that this goal was not an easy one to achieve. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's the sound I need. I mean, it's really annoying, but if it works, it works. Some of you might know that the ship sinking effect of the chest of sorrows has no impact on a rowboat. However, if any of my chests of rage were to explode, the rowy would absolutely take damage from it, leaving me without a vessel. The only way for me to keep them from doing that was by having waves of ocean water cool them down. But because there are no ways to speak of as you approach an island, that also meant that I could not ever take it too close to one. After picking up another chest of a thousand grogs as my second dig, I made way towards my third destination, when army of Kevlar protected skeletons was already waiting to tear me limb from limb. Why am I getting pushed around like that? These skellies take a million hits to kill. And also, I just get pushed around by a skelly without a weapon? What is happening? I was definitely not in the mood to deal with any of these skellies after all I went through, but luckily for me, I was about to find one that very much deserved my attention. I really started to think that there was some kind of correlation between me being on a rowboat and me seeing a lot of ancient skeletons. But hey, I'm not gonna look a gifted horse in the mouth, so I took care of it to collect my share of pay to win currency, but not without collecting another chest of rage. And while I was there, I also collected some random items I got off a skelly captain. I mean, hey, I gotta make my doubloons back somehow. Of course, I would take any opportunity to switch out my rowie to make sure I don't end up stranded, but at long last, I finally found a chest of sorrows. Listen, funny as it would be to sink a ship by using half a dozen chests of rage exclusively, having at least one crying boy that actually fills the dang thing up with water was definitely a good thing. What wasn't a good thing was my poor sense of direction. Uh, I cannot find my rowie right now. I mean, I swam for quite a while. Yeah, southeast. I'm going southeast. Wait, wait. It was not northeast. It was southeast. <clears throat> Shut up, chat. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a word. I don't hear a word from you right now. Yeah, nothing more embarrassing than forgetting where you parked the car. The voices in my head were not gonna let me live down that blunder, but more important than that was actually finding the dang thing because a storm was approaching. Some of you guys might remember that rowboats absolutely do take damage whilst within a storm, so getting it to safety was of utmost importance. The entire project was hinging on this moment, and my reaction to finding it definitely reflected that. Oh, here it is! Oh my god, oh my god. We have to get the heck out of the storm now. We're not too far away from shore. At least don't have to worry about fire right now. I successfully transferred my weapons, oh, I mean treasure, onto a new rowboat before the old one fell apart in the storm. I took the opportunity to marvel at my stack of cursed loot whilst waiting for the storm to pass, excited to offload it onto an unsuspecting crew. All I had to do was pick up one final chest of rage, after which I got a little scared when I realized I got my rowboat too close to shore, with a half dozen of my other chests currently turning it into charcoal. But finally, after hours of struggling, I was ready to finish my journey, with a conveniently parked Reaper Brigantine waiting for my arrival. I knew that if if anybody was on that vessel, the sound my chests made would undoubtedly put them on high alert. But also, what fun is it to sink a ship when nobody's on it? Meaning my best choice was deception. Hey, what's up? I bring presents. Oh, thank you. You guys just chilling, fishing? This was as good a chance as I could get. That crew seemed to be about as oblivious as I could ask for, so I seized the opportunity to distribute my chests of rage all across their vessel. Unfortunately, one of them seemed to know how these things worked and began tossing them overboard to cool them down, meaning I had no choice but to strike as soon as my chests exploded. Can I kill three people before they end me? It has begun. Hands up. Ow! Rude? All I said was hands up. Ow! That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I definitely should have taken that a little more seriously. When I realized that two-thirds of that crew really did not understand what the heck was going on, I started to feel a little bad about my plan of spawn camping them until they sank. I did eventually come back on my ship to give them a proper fight, and, well, let's just say that regular combat is a lot more effective than trying to cheese your way to victory, albeit nowhere near as funny. But if you want to catch me using a chest of sorrow to try and sink another ship before they introduce that voyage, feel free to check out that episode via the card on screen right now. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you guys have a day filled with the riches on the sea. And until next time, peace.